Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well. So today I am back with another haul and I am so excited to show you the new in pieces in my wardrobe because I've been picking up some really, really nice bits recently. Um, there is quite a lot. So I've actually decided I am going to split this haul into two parts. Um, so today we're gonna do H&M, Cars, Arquette, and then a couple of other like miscellaneous bits. Um, and then next week I'm gonna do Zara, Mango, Abercrombie, and again, maybe a few of the miscellaneous brands in there too. Um, and I've decided to do it slightly differently. Normally when I film my hauls, I will have like a rail and I'll pull out each piece and talk you through it. And then they'll just be like cutaways to the side. Um, but this time I thought I would actually talk you through styling and show you how I have been wearing and styling these pieces. Um, so that being said, I'm going to start off with what I am wearing now. Um, this is a new knit from H&M, which I have been living in, I think, for the price. And you just cannot go wrong with this piece. Um, it is such good quality. It's 93% wool. And I'm pretty sure it was around like £55, which is just incredible for a knit with such a high wool content. Um, I absolutely love the cream colour. It's like the perfect, perfect tone. Um, it's kind of a cropped kind of style. I did a size up in this. I went for the size small and I'd normally wear an extra small in H&M. Um, so I'd say if you do prefer a slightly like boxier, oversized fit to your knitwear, then I would recommend sizing up in this. Um, but yeah, I think the sleeves are just so nice. They definitely help to make it feel more expensive as well. Um, they're very long. I know some of you hate the hat and tell me I need to get everything shortened. Um, but I really like how they kind of cover my hands. But they're not like too obstructive either. Um, styling wise with this, I've gone for a pair of jeans. These are new as well. They're from Abercrombie. But I'm not going to talk through them too much in this video because I think you should wait until next week's video. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> um, but yeah, they are a really nice nice pair of jeans, kind of a relaxed like widish leg and I think footwear wise they work so well with Uggs and um, I feel like this knit with the Uggs and the jeans is just a really like relaxed casual day-to-day -day look. Um, I probably also do this bag, this is from Cafune and uh, if you look like these tones are just near enough the exact same so they just work perfectly together and then keeping in with the like cream tones i've gone for this coat which is from zara um, i did get this last year but i will try and leave something similar linked um, so yeah, I think for a day-to-day -day outfit, this would be such a go-to for me, um, especially as we're now coming into winter and the temperature has definitely dropped. Um, and we all know if you've got a pair of Uggs, they are literally the comfiest, softest, warmest shoes in the whole world. So this next look is very much about like building an outfit and layering because we're starting off with a very like basic, simple base layer. Um, I've got a new knit on again from H&M. Um, this is a 70% wool knit and it's so thick and so soft, um, not itchy at all. Um, neither was the cream knit I just showed you by the way, like neither of them are itchy to me in the slightest. Um, and again, this one has the same kind of high neck detail and the sleeves are very, very similar. I'd say it's slightly longer in the body than the cream one. And it's also got this really nice speckled detail going through the knit, which I love. I feel like that gives it a really kind of casual, cozy kind of vibe. And if you have been following me on Instagram, then you will know that brown is very much my color palette for this season. Um, so yeah, I'm absolutely loving this. Again, I've kind of been wearing the two knits on rotation. This one is so, so warm. Uh, the only thing I would say is that this, I think it was 110 pounds. But I have noticed that it has started to bubble a bit. Um, I've probably worn it like four or five times in the past couple of weeks. And I did have to debubble it this morning with my electric like fabric shaver. Um, that has been such a good purchase, by the way. Um, it only took me five minutes and now it's looking good as new again. Um, so I will leave the one I have linked below in case any of you are in the market for a debobbler. Um, I've styled it very simply with some stirrup leggings. These are again new in from H&M. Um, I like to buy a new pair of leggings like every season because I really wear them so much. 
um, with like knee high boots and things which I love to wear I always go for a pair of leggings and um, these ones are thick they're not like the type of legging that you would wear for doing a workout and um, they're definitely like a day-to-day -day legging and they also have um, seams down the front which I really really like um, so styling wise if you do follow me on Instagram you will have already seen this outfit most likely um, but I'm going to add my H&M wool coat um, I quite like the fact that H&M at the minute are bringing back a lot of designs from previous seasons. Um, so I've had this coat for like three years now, uh, but they have brought it back this year. So I will leave it linked, um, but you will definitely know this if you have been following me on Instagram or on YouTube for a while, because it's definitely one of the most worn coats in my wardrobe. Um, and then footwear wise, I have a new pair of knee high boots to show you. These are from Massimo Duty. And honestly, I just think they are absolutely beautiful. Um, they've gone kind of viral, I think. I think it's on TikTok um, in the black color. But I managed to get my hands on the brown colorway, which I was so happy about because I've been looking for the perfect pair of brown knee high boots for a while. Um, they have this like detachable gold detail, very like Hermes inspired and I really like the fact that it is detachable because then I could wear them for like a countryside kind of walk, maybe not if it was like super muddy because they're too nice for that. Um, but yeah, I would wear them to like a pub for like a roast or something um, and maybe take off that detail to have them feeling a little bit more casual. Um, but I also absolutely love that detail for like day-to-day -day outfits. Um, and then I also have this new bag from Arquette. Um, if you watched my last haul, you might remember that I initially got the like tote bag version of this in the same colour. But I mentioned that I was going to potentially exchange it for the crossbody one and I'm glad I did because this size is just perfect for me for every day. Um, I absolutely love this bag. I love how minimal it is and yeah it just fits all my essentials and also is like the perfect colour match for the boots. And then final new in piece for this outfit which I think finishes off the look perfectly is my new beanie. Um, I decided to treat myself to this lower V beanie and I am honestly just obsessed with it. Um, I love the beige tone and again, it's got that kind of speckled effect running through the knit. I also really like the fact that the Loewe branding is quite subtle. Like unless you're really looking at it, you can't kind of read it. Um, and I like that that is a little bit more minimal. Um, I'll pop it on to show you. It's a very like thick wool hat. Um, perfect for the winter. I know I'm just going to be living in this this winter. And I remember last year I was looking at buying the Celine beanie, which I think is about like £400, maybe slightly more. Um, but this one was £225, which obviously is crazy expensive for just a beanie. But considering it is low FA, it kind of makes sense. Um, so if any of you are looking for any Christmas presents and you have got a bit of a higher budget, then I think this is a really, really good option. Um, it does also come in a dark grey. Moving on to some new in pieces from Cars. And the first item I wanted to show you is this gorgeous black maxi skirt. Um, this is very basic, very simple in its design, but honestly, one of my favourite pieces in the whole haul. I feel like I'm just going to get so much wear out of this over the next few months. It is literally just so, so versatile. Um, when I ordered it, I thought it was going to be more of a like tailored kind of material, but actually when it came, it is 100% wool and it's like a, almost like a merino kind of wool. I'm not sure if it actually is, but it's like a soft, like fine knit. And again, it's just not itchy in the slightest and it's just so comfortable. It literally feels like you are wearing like a loungewear set, but it is so chic at the same time. Um, it's like a maxi length on me and I am five foot two. I could probably just about get away with wearing it with flats, um, but it does look better with a heel on me personally. I've just got it on with some knee high heeled boots at the minute. And um, it also has a little slit up the back for movement and then an elasticated waistband. Um, I'm wearing the extra small in this and I would say it fits true to size. Um, I've just styled it with this cropped knit from Zara. Um, this is from last year, but again, I'll link something similar. Almost forgot to show you, but I also styled it with my Ganny bag. Um, 
this is a couple of months old now and honestly I've never had so many compliments on a bag as I have on this one. People ask me all the time where this is from when I'm at events or was out with my friend the other day and she was like oh my god I need that bag. So if any of you are on the lookout for like an entry price point designer bag then I would highly highly recommend this piece. Um, I'm sure you'll be able to get it discounted somewhere over like the Cyber Week kind of period. Um, it's literally like a Mary Poppins bag as well because it's so wide at the bottom and you can just get so much in there and I feel like it's just the perfect size for like daytime looks but also for evening looks as well. And then I also wanted to show you one of the many ways you can dress the skirt up for the evening. I've just styled it with this black like bardo top from Urban Revivo. This is a very similar kind of knit. It's like a thin, almost like merino style wool knit. And when you tuck it in, it looks like you're wearing a dress, which I just love. Like I feel like this skirt, honestly, is the most versatile piece ever. Um, I've also popped my belt around it just to break it up and again, kind of lean in to that kind of dress look a little bit more. Um, styling wise, I'd probably do just black accessories. So Wally is just sleeping on the sofa next to me there. Um, this is my Demelia clutch bag. And these are my beautiful Rene. I don't know how you pronounce that last name, but my Rene's um, that I got last year and I'm just still as obsessed with. Okay, I promise I'm nearly done with this skirt, but I thought this was the perfect outfit to show you this cropped blazer that I also recently picked up from Cos. Um, I've been on the hunt for a black cropped blazer for a while because I just feel like it's a really handy piece to have in your wardrobe, um, especially if you are petite. I always say, that I find cropped things to be really flattering because they really elongate your legs and don't like cut you off at a weird point. Um, so when I spotted this one on COS I decided to order it and I'm so so happy with it. Um, normally with COS I say it comes up quite big um, so I usually wear a 32 in most of their pieces um, but this one I would say is true to size. I ordered the 34 and I think it fits perfectly. It's really, really nice quality as well. And it just goes with everything. Um, this styled with like some wide leg jeans would be perfect for an evening look. Um, you could also wear it kind of more dressed down, say with like jeans and trainers, if you were going for like a more casual meal. Um, obviously now I've got the same outfit on underneath, but I do also think you could take off the top and do this up and wear that as an outfit together, like with the skirt. I think that would look really chic as well. Um, so yeah, I wanted to give this a mention. Absolutely love it. And again, another great wardrobe staple. So the next piece from Cars is this chocolate brown knit. Um, this is 100% cashmere, so really nice quality. And the style is like a classic crew neck, kind of like a thin knit. Um, I've half tucked it into my trousers and it's not like too bulky or anything. Um, so this would be a good one if you do like to wear your knits tucked in. Um, I went for a size small in this just because it is that like slimmer kind of style and I wanted it to be a little bit baggier. Um, so yeah, if you do like a more oversized fit, then I'd recommend sizing up. Um, the colour pairs perfectly with a lot of the chocolate brown pieces in my wardrobe. Um, these trousers I showed you in my last haul. Um, they're from Arquette and they are a wool pair of wide leg trousers, which I have been styling up so much and wearing loads because they are a great length and I can wear them with trainers, which is fab. Um, I've also got on this belt from Reese. Uh, I'm not actually sure if I have shown you this one yet. Um, but yeah, again, chocolate brown has this really nice gold horse bit detailing. And I love it with these trousers. Um, so this look, I think you could definitely wear for work. I feel like this is a perfect workwear look. Um, but I'm actually going to style it up a little bit more casually. Okay, so for casual everyday styling, I've just added my rosé Paris trench coat, which I adore. I just love it so, so much. And I feel like the beige tone works really nicely with this chocolate brown. Um, and then I do my New Balance. These are the 530s. Um, and then this bag, which is also fairly new from Cos. Um, I did show you this in, I showed it in when I was doing the come shopping with me in cars last week. Um, but yeah, I love this bag. It's not like typically a very me, but I really like how it like casuals down any outfit. 
and I also love that it is like hands free and just like really easy to wear. I've been wearing this a lot like when we've been taking the dog out for walks and things and yeah I just feel like it's a very like cool girl style and I like pretending to be that person. Um, so yeah I'm loving this. Last piece from Cars is this gorgeous black maxi dress. I love this but sadly it just isn't right for me so this will be going back but I wanted to show it you anyway because I think if any of you have any events coming up this Christmas um, I think even if you had a black tag event coming up then this would work so so well for that. Um, I don't know if any of you remember but back in the summer I had a very very similar dress from Cos. Um, it's got this gorgeous like chiffon pleated detail at the bottom which is so beautiful and the movement it gives to the dress is just such a dream um, and I had the strapless version that they brought out in the summer uh, but they've actually just recently brought out this version which is basically the winter version of that dress. Um, so it's got a high neck and then long sleeves and then it's got this like drop waist detail um, which then goes out into the same like pleated chiffon skirt. Um, on me it is a maxi length with heels and I am 5 foot 2, it takes the perfect length for me to wear with heels but I wouldn't be able to wear it with flats. Um, sadly the reason I don't think this works is well A I don't actually have anywhere to wear it um, but then also I think that the sleeves are just too long on me so I definitely need to get them shortened because they kind of like bunch up weird. Um, and I just don't think it's really worth it considering I don't really have anywhere to wear it. Um, but I wanted to show it you because if any of you do have any events coming up, then I think this is such a beautiful option. Um, the only thing is, it's a little bit tight around the neck, um, but I think I would just get used to that. And it is gorgeous quality and, like I said, just such a beautiful style. And then the final piece in the haul is this cute mini skirt from Arquette. Um, this is wool and it's like a brushed wool and I really really love the texture of it. I feel like it's really nice. I also love these cute little pockets. Um, the colour is gorgeous and the length is good. Um, the only thing I would say is that it does come up quite big. I'm wearing the 34 which is the smallest size they do and I'm definitely going to have to get it taken in at the waist. Um, I've just got it like cinched in currently, but yeah, I would say to size down in this. Um, styling wise, I've got on the same H&M jumper that I showed you at the start. Um, I think this would work equally well with like a thinner, like fine knit roll neck, um, but I like the chunky knit with it too. And again, I think this could be another contender for a Christmas day outfit. Um, styling wise, I've gone for brown tights. I don't know if you can see. Um, I just picked these up recently from Calzedonia, just for like a softer and slightly warmer alternative to black tights. Um, and I've also got those Massimo Dutti knee high boots on, the brown ones. Um, so I wanted a pair of brown tights to go with those. Um, and then to tie in with the boots, I'd go for my Arquette little bag. Um, and yeah, I think this is really, really cute. Um, either for Christmas Day or for like a lunch date or going shopping, something like that. I feel like I'll definitely get some wear out of this skirt over the festive period. And that brings me to the end of the haul. Um, I really hope you enjoyed and hopefully you found it useful seeing how I have been styling the pieces. Um, I'll try and leave everything links below, like all the styling bits as well, in order of appearance. Um, and I'll try and link some alternatives if anything is low in stock or out of stock. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And please give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it because it really helps out my channel. And definitely come back next week for the Zara, Mango and Abercrombie haul because it's another good one. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.